place I've come to has got memorial plaques and cards in the trees. So it's obviously a place much loved and a place of sadness and remembrance and grief uh, for people who've loved this spot. I won't show the cards on the, on the phone because that might be an infringement of privacy. Um, but I think it's a... I've come here to read this poem which is also a poem of remembrance and grief. Because of course, um, I mean death is natural or it should be, but uh, because of priorities of money and profit and so on, um, death comes too soon to many, many working class people and poor people. And uh, I wrote this and it's called After Grenfell. After Grenfell. Some deaths happen in spotlight. Public days of grieving announced. Programmes on the telly telling us how great they were. Coating our minds with the importance of celebrity and fame. But not here. We are not told your name. The media carefully avoids the bottomless vaults of anonymous horror. The unglamorous deaths of the poor. These usual deaths are averaged out, summarised in quiet paragraphs, numbers to be muttered quietly, hushed. No, there's nobody to blame. Natural disaster, cause unknown, part of the divine plan we are handed down. Comforting statistics, natural see. Lessons will be learned, again, and nothing can be changed by you or me. As natural as the price of bread, hoisted out of reach, as warehouses full of rotting food, as oil slicks on the beach, as natural as shattered shanties after the earthquake's gone, where still stands the jewelled penthouse, safe and strong, glinting in the sun. As natural as razor wire laws, which make a three-year-old drown, or a whole school under a slag heap as it slides across the town. As natural as an early warning system, but the money could not be found. So the tsunami arrived, unannounced, and a quarter of a million drowned. As natural as the cheapest cladding, not expensive or fireproof. As natural as no way out and the incineration of the truth. As natural as missing sprinklers, as the tower raged and burned, but the money was saved. Hallelujah. And there'll be no lessons learned. As natural as people left without in a world full of all we need. As the same world, choked by very few, sick with greed. It makes no difference to the dead, the hypocrisy and lies. Except you might have lived, loved, worked and played for longer under fairer skies. And that goes out to the families of the 72, at least the 72, the true number won't be known, um, who died at Grenfell. And the, the hundreds of families who are still waiting for a permanent place to live. And the families who are still waiting for justice or some kind of answer. And also to the families who live in the 300 um, similar tower blocks that are still clad in flammable cladding. Um, so the government won't fund having it changed and who obviously live in, in terror of their lives. Thank you.